Traffic and weather sponsored by Import Minded. Love your import. Ease your mind. Get it serviced at Import Minded, South 27th Street in Milwaukee. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Gene. We've got some problems out there. Let's see. Let's start off with 4145 northbound accident at Goodhook Road in the right lane. Let me tie things up there. Also, 94 northbound at Edgerton. We have uh, left lane out with an accident there. 794 northbound at St. Francis. Three vehicles involved with this accident. Just watch for those. And the rest of the area, well, of course, you'd expect the delays 94 inbound from Highway 16 to the zoo is up to 15 minutes, starting from Calhoun all the way through to the zipper merge area at Sunny Slope. 94 northbound from downtown on the Morgan Road is 15 minutes. <coughs> The WTMJ 5-day forecast, morning rain and fog, then cloudy. Today's high 50, clouds tonight, patchy fog, a stray shower by morning and a low of 40. Breezy, showers and storms tomorrow. Some could be strong, a high of 55, partly cloudy, a windy high Wednesday of 56. Thursday, cloudy, showers 47, Friday, partly cloudy, 44. Waukesha, 42, 43 in Milwaukee at 620 WTMJ. The 2016 Classic Free Ride about to be revealed. Joining us in studio from Valenti Classics is Steve Valenti. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And it's a pleasure to have you. It feels like summer already just seeing you. And uh, this is our fifth year of doing the Classic Free Ride with Valenti. We, of course, uh, did a number of great rides in the past. And you guys keep keep on topping yourself. But each year before this, it's been a mystery as to what the car was going to be and uh, the whole process of redoing it. This year's going to be different. We're going to tell everybody right now what you did and where it is and how they can see it. Yeah, this year will be pretty pretty cool because everybody will be able to follow along throughout the entire build. Uh, if you go to the Classic Free Ride page, you'll be able to see everything that we're doing and what we're up to and kind of see some of the uh, the trick features we're going to put into this into the car. So this year's car is going to be a Corvette. So who, who doesn't love a Corvette, right? And uh, we're pretty excited about it because we're going to put our own little custom touches on this thing and, and really make it pretty special. It's it's going to be a street legal car but that you can just cruise around and have some fun with. But if you want to take it out on the on the racetrack and, and really uh, scare some people, it'll, it'll be <laughs> capable of doing that too. Presented by New Mail Medical Valenti Classics Tax Air. They are uh, in this. And uh, this you can see this car today, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, right now it uh, it's in a lot of pieces, but it, it, it will be in one piece once uh, once reveal day. We've got the uh, website up and going, so people can actually see this car as it gets reassembled and put back together. And we have a real sexy name for it too, don't we? Yeah, this year it's the the Valenti Corvette Vendetta, and <laughs> there will be a story on the web page. But there's a, there's a lot of meaning behind that name. Uh, this the Corvette we took is a C3 Corvette, so it's the third generation Corvette that has incredible styling, really aggressive look and design to it, but uh, Chevrolet kind of fell short when it, when it came to the performance and the dependability on this model. Um, they've actually earned themselves at the top, uh, the number six spot in the, the top ten worst Corvettes of all time. And so Vendetta's comes into play because this is this car's chance for, for ultimate revenge against all the people that hated on it, just due to the fact that it was an underwhelming 200 horsepower back in the day. Uh, this this build that we're doing is going to be a, a one of a kind twin turbo, and it'll produce 750 horsepower at 15 pounds of boost. So, well, let's get to the really important question, Steve. What color is it going to be? Uh, it's going to be a titanium color. Uh, it's like a silvery beige, but more titanium, which is another thing that we're putting into the build that just just doesn't happen. We're integrating a lot of actual titanium hardware. So all of the uh, the suspension components that are attached will be done with titanium. Uh, we've got well, one company that uh, supplied us with this got shipped uh, UPS to us the other day. It's a it, well, inch and a half solid tube of titanium that's maybe a foot long, and you can pick it up with one hand. It's super light. Had that be if that was steel, you'd have to about two hands would have to hold it. So it's ultra lightweight and ultra strong. Uh, that tube or rod itself is about a thousand dollars. And we've got a, a machine shop that is going to use their five-axis machine and custom uh, machine this thing down. Uh, so that'll actually be the shifter. Where do you find these cars that you uh, ultimately turn into these works of art? 
Uh, some of them find us if we're lucky, but we're we're always traveling the country, going to different shows, different events. Uh, we've been fortunate to to work with a lot of private collectors throughout the nation, and once in a while they're ready to to part with something in their collection, and if it's of interest, we'll we'll try and latch onto it. And uh, we're going to reveal the car in the morning blend on today's TMJ4. That's going to be the morning of May 9th. Right now, the classic free ride garage restoration page that is live. So, again, people can watch it. You're also going to do some Facebook stuff. Hi, by the way, to our friends on Facebook watching right now. And uh, you're going to actually be doing some Q&As and such. Yeah, we got scheduled four uh, Q&A sessions, live Facebook uh, video chats, where people can you know reach out, ask questions uh, if about the build, components we're using, why we chose them, you know, how we're kind of walking that fine line of making a race car that's street legal and how we're able to do it and keep it safe, too. And we're going to have a bunch of ways for you to, uh, A, see this car and B, register to perhaps win it. It's going to be the same drill. We're going to have our usual bunch of events throughout southeastern Wisconsin where the car will be available. Uh, our friends at Taxair will do the uh, toting of said vehicle. And uh, you're going to have a different kind of a, a trailer this year, so the car will actually be able to be on the ground from what I understand. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of modifying with the ramp system, uh, so the car will actually be on the ground at many <clears throat> of the events, which will be cool for us because we're really working on the on the stance and the and the aggressive look that this car has uh, it'll be a little bit lower than than what it was born uh, and and to, to really appreciate that stance is is if it's on the ground versus up in the air on a trailer. So. And all those motorheads with their 54,000 questions, I'm <laughs> sure you're going to want to see this thing when it's actually sitting on terra firma. Right. Uh, we're going to have second chance scratch opportunities for you to uh, qualify to win this car, and also there's going to be an online registration going on as well. We'll have details on all of this stuff as the classic free ride plays out through the uh, summer, and uh, we're going to give the bad boy away on uh, July 27th, I believe, is the final date. So uh, mm -hmm. be, uh, make a note of all of that, the classic free ride of 27th. 16, sponsored by New Mail Medical, Valenti Classics, and Tax Air. Steve, I look forward to another summer of uh, seeing a whole lot of uh, folks, a whole lot of places, and seeing what this uh, Corvette looks like when it's all said and done. Yeah, we're, we're excited about it for sure. Uh, another date that you're going to want to kind of, or, you know, pay attention to is the end of April before the reveal. Uh, we're going to be up at Road America with this car getting some track time on it. So there will be some pretty good footage of that to, to go to the Classic Free Ride Garage page. And who, who gets to drive? Uh, I'll, be, I'll do some driving, and then uh, Matt is one of our, our lead guys who's got a little bit more experience behind the wheel in, in race cars, but I'll take it easy. All right. Well, uh, Steve, thanks for coming by again, and uh, you can check out the building process as this car gets put together at the Classic Free Ride Garage at WTMJ.com. Thank thanks, you. And we'll talk again soon. Yep, thanks a lot. Sleepless stretch ahead for Steve Valenti and the folks at Valenti Classics. 7.59 at 6.20 WTMJ. News about your money, European and Asian stocks. Extended gains today on expectations.